Hello, welcome to Cold Jet. My name is Steve Wilson. Cold Jet is a manufacturer of dry ice cleaning and surface preparation equipment. So we're demonstrating this morning how we take dry ice and we do environmental cleaning and surface preparation with the solid form of CO2. You're seeing behind me a Harley Davidson V-Rod covered in a high density polyurethane foam. It's a, it's a contaminant. It's on top of a variety of substrates. If you look at this motorcycle closely, you'll see such things as a, as a plastic reflector. You'll see chrome parts. You'll see metal parts. You'll see rubber parts. You'll see glass parts. A variety of substrates all being cleaned in a, in a variety of ways using dry ice, keeping them without getting damaged. The dry ice is soft. It, it's non-abrasive. It sublimates on impact and it is a dry process. How the process works, I can demonstrate to you on a mold down here. We've actually got dry ice in a machine and I can show you how the process works on how we took this foam off of this motorcycle. It begins with loading the machine with dry ice. That dry ice comes from your local gas company, your air gases, your Continentals, your Lindys of the world. This machine uses a block of solid CO2. It is loaded into the machine, the door is reset, you select your feed rate and your pressure based on your substrate. You hook up compressed air from the, from the factory air. You hook in 110 electric and you roll the machine up to the process to be clean. Today we've got a compression mold. It's an O-ring mold. Today we happen to be at ambient temperatures. Normally this mold would probably be 230 degrees F. We'll bring the machine up. We will turn on the machine. The dry air will begin to flow through the nozzle and we will come up and we'll begin to clean. What you're seeing are the contaminants from a rubber molding process being removed. How is that happening? It's used, I use the acronym ICE. There's an impact, there's a cold, and there's an expansion. The impact is the kinetic energy of moving that very small 0.03 millimeter particle of dry ice at a high velocity. You impact that contaminant and you micro crack it. There is a thermal property going on. Dry ice is very cold. You'll notice I didn't handle the dry ice. It's minus 109 degrees F. We're using that principle of coefficient thermal expansion contraction of dissimilar materials. The dry ice is impacting the contaminant. It is then freezing the contaminant. It is embrittling the contaminant, causing it to lose its bond strength with the substrate. The E is an expansion. There's a sublimation that goes on when dry ice phases from a solid to a gas. On impact, that phase occurred and volumetrically, the size of that went up about 800 times in size. So you, I am hitting a contaminant, I am micro cracking it, I cause it to shrink or embrittle with the thermal, and then that explosion and the sublimation takes place and it blows the contaminant off. That's what you're seeing on how the process works. That's exactly how we cleaned the polyurethane foam off of that Harley Davidson. The three main applications in the plastics industry are illustrated in these graphics behind me. In almost all segments of the, of the plastics industry, whether you're automotive, packaging, medical, whatever you may be in, there's tooling to be cleaned. The tooling is cleaned in place, in situ, at operating temperatures. You bring the machine up that we just demonstrated and you've cleaned the mold in place. You've cleaned the parting line and now you've extended that production run. You've done it very quickly, very efficiently, and in a very high qualitative method. In the medical arena, there are a lot of times where the volumes don't justify actually molding a part. It's a high value, low volume part that is CNC machined. The result of that is some burrs. And a lot of resins were able to take those burrs off and you end up with a part that can be deflashed using that dry ice process, namely that kinetic energy that we talked about for removing contaminants. Also in the world of thermosets and sometimes thermoplastics, we get flash on parts. We always get it in thermo set, sometimes we get it in thermoplastic. The kinetic energy once again can be used to take the flash off a variety of parts as illustrated in this darker part here on the end. The very last photo talks about the surface preparation that is done with dry ice cleaning. We can use the dry ice under very low pressures and, and very small particles to take and remove those contaminants to keep the part dry. Therefore we can eliminate the need for a dryer. So those are the three primary applications that are used in the plastics industry. Take a look at us, if you would, at our webpage, page, www.
coldjet, C-O-L-D-J-E-T.com backslash plastics.